Well, dirt track racing, and that's where Larry recently got a chance to go for a drive where he discovered that even when he's all alone on the track, the only car out there, Rubbin, is racing. If you've ever wondered why racing is so big here in the Carolinas, it's uh, right under your nose. The red clay is made for racing. The dirt track, the driver really has to get, get up on the wheel and manhandle the race car. You know, a lot of the uh, legends of stock car have started out on dirt track. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, guys like Casey Kane, Jeff Gordon, Carl Edwards, um, you know, Clint Boyer, guys who started out on dirt tracks and really honed their craft with a car that was free and sliding all over the place. <laughs> Now, I wanted to be a dirt track racer, but there were a few things I needed to know first. Anybody can come up here and, and learn to drive on a dirt track, right? Yes, sir, yeah. You know, it could be a race fan who wants to come out and just try it out and see if they like it. It could be someone who's looking to get into racing. It could just be a thrill seeker who likes to have a little bit of fun. At this point is where you're going to actually roll out of the throttle. Okay. And we're going to apply that brake. Okay. And get the car to kind of set up and rotate. At the end of the straightaways, I'd say the open wheel modifieds on a weekly basis are probably going somewhere around 75 to 85 miles an hour at the end of the straightaway. So the faster, the better? Yeah, <laughs> with, with dirt cars, you actually yeah. have to drive them hard. How slow can I go? You can go as <laughs> slow or as fast as you want, as long as you're comfortable. All right. Okay, here we go. You got the lessons, you hit the track, you got to charge hard. You hit those red clay marbles, you get up enough speed, you gotta hit the brakes at the right time to get that car to slide in the right direction. And if it doesn't work, then you gotta do the whole thing over again. And then if you don't exactly do it the right way, the wall is coming right at you and there's a little bit of a panic and then... Ah, just like that, it was over. Remember, the wall's not your friend. Dirt is your friend. Okay, that's a good thing to remember. But there is no doubt, dirt track racing will live on and on. <laughs> that's a little squirrely right there. Yeah, you did get a little squirrely there. You hit the wall. I did. You did in the, the car. Wall is not your friend, they say. <laughs> so you don't know what's going to end uh, up in the video because I had some great news know. out there. But I'd like to thank Sean Parker and uh, Mark Lowry, who was kind of the, he was the driver of the train me out there, and the folks at East Lincoln Speedway, so nice and and uh, you know understanding uh, when uh, a little the edge of the wall right there. You know, I think yeah. you forgot that we have a resident racer in the yeah. Chocolate Rocket, Herman Tao. Her Herman Tao, yeah, I need some ones, but uh, yeah, and there, you know, <laughs> if you like to, you know, if you like to find out more about this uh, and want to check out more dirt racing, there's an event this weekend, the NDRA Modes Race, is Saturday 14th. This coming Saturday, East Lincoln Speedway. Tickets are ten dollars. Kids under ten are free. Go to our website, WCNC.com. Click on on TV to find out more about dirt track racing. Dirt. It's wild, say, drive man. on dirt dot com, and on dirt. Uh, it, it was so much fun out there. And I, I know that I get a little bit squirrely as I said. But anyone can one. go out there to yeah. the school yeah, and, and it, get into it. Listen, yeah. if I could do it, you know, I had not driven a straight drive in like 30 years. Uh -huh. So I'm, I, if I can get out there and do it, anybody can. And you'll do a lot better than me. And you're, I don't know about uh, that. You'll think sliding the way it should. You, you did great. Kind of you did great, Larry. It was fun. That was.